Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff from Lutheran Church of the Resurrection. We're doing our Lenten devotionals together. I'm giving you just a little bit of insight as you make your way through. We're on the second day, Thursday, February 18th. And our uh, passage is Luke 1, 39 to 80. Well, you know, as I was reading this and, and looking at it earlier, um, we have some very uh, important parts of Scripture here, most especially the Magnificat. Mary breaks into song. But before she breaks into song, she's greeted by her cousin, Elizabeth. Do you remember what said that uh, the Holy Spirit is actually at work? And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And, and the child inside of her, baby John, kind of leaps for joy. Later on, we're also told that Zechariah is filled with the Holy Spirit. And so the Spirit is at work. The Spirit has been let loose. And that's partly what Luke wants us to think about. How is the Holy Spirit at work in our lives? And what does the Holy Spirit do? Well, the Spirit seems to help Elizabeth recognize, right? Recognize God and God being at work. And the Spirit in Zechariah seems to uh, open back up his lips. Remember, they've been closed because he was kind of doubting what angel Gabriel had said to him. And so as we think about uh, this story of Jesus, I think Luke wants us to ponder how it is the Holy Spirit is going to be at work in different ways through different people, but also in us. Of course, the Magnificat is a very famous part of Scripture, and it's related oftentimes to Hannah's song. Um, it is a song that is filled with a yearning for justice. Mary talks about the rich being sent away empty, the lowly being lifted up. And indeed, in Luke's Gospel, Luke wants to remind us that God is a God of reversals, that God is at work sometimes in the seemingly most impossible of places and the most impossible of people. Mary wants us to know that the rich are not somehow better in God's eyes, but God's salvation that has come in Jesus will be for all people. I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, little part of our scripture together. Uh, it really is a beautiful section of Luke's gospel. God bless you.